Good morning, guys. As I promised, a gold bee fish recipe. Here it is. We're getting this done today. And it's um, in, in Vietnamese. This is the gold bee fish. This is one uh, pack. So let's get some gloves and let's get started. How are you guys today? Are you guys doing well? I am great to myself. I have the house all to myself. Took the kids to school. Got home. Now I'm going to start cooking for you. Got my coffee right here. Yum. Cafe sữa. So good. Okay, let's get started. Um, first off, you're gonna need some salt. I'm using sea salt here. Any kind of salt would, you know, would be fine. Just cover it with salt. Because usually the uh, goby fish, it's real slimy. The skin is real slimy, and this is how I clean it. I get salt, and I soak it like this for about 10 to 15 minutes. Just salt by itself. Okay, we're gonna let this sit for like 15 minutes and we'll come back and I will chop chop, clean it. Okay, this is how I clean it. First, you need a small, like a paring knife, like this, and a pair of scissors. I'm gonna take like this, one fish like this, and then Move the knife towards it. Be careful when using a knife, please. Like this. You know, you can grab it in between your fingers to get a hold of it. And just scrape all the slime. You know, like, you see? This shit is gross. Okay, you gotta clean. You gotta clean this fish. Like this. I'm gonna do a few for you guys. Okay, and then using a pair of scissors, and here's the tail, you chop this part off, and here's the gills right here, you need to cut that part, see this little, this little bad boy right here, and there you go, you need to cut that shit off too, and here's the part of the head, I like to eat this part right here, it's, it's a little bitter, but that's, that's, you know, that's, that's a good part right here. So don't discard this. So I'm going to chop this part, this head part, chop you off like so. And then I'm going to half it, cut it into half like this. See, that's how you do it. Okay, let me finish up cleaning. Okay, but then after you, uh, I forgot to tell you, after you do all this, all this cleaning part, you're going to rinse like four or five times, and then we're going to start marinating this. I'm done cleaning, and it should look like this. Now let's go marinate. Okay, first I have some shallots here. I'm just going to put... Like this much. Okay, that's that's about a large shallot. Next, I'm just gonna eyeball it, just a little MSG, just a tiny. Okay, like this. Okay, and then some uh, mushroom seasoning. Okay, I'm just gonna eyeball everything. That's about a teaspoon. Okay. And then some sugar. Also about a teaspoon. Hold up. Hold up. Okay. Some oil. This is avocado oil I have here. Just a tiny bit this and then this is very important milk mum right here fish sauce and I'm gonna do like ooh, two teaspoon 
I'm just going to eyeball everything. Mix this up. And let this marinate for like 20 minutes. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. I'm going to add in some oil, avocado oil, or you can use whatever oil you have available. And then I'm going to sprinkle a little sugar in for color. So caramelized for color. I'm going to say um, a tablespoon. There you go. Okay, now we're going to mix this up until it gets the color like a you know, brownish amber color like this. You gotta be patient with this. You gotta keep an eye on it or else it will burn. See the smoke? See, now you lower the heat. Lower that heat. Don't burn this. You see this color? coming in look how pretty look at this okay I'm just gonna get it just a tad darker like this keep an eye on this at all time guys you see see this amber color now lower the heat to like super low and then drop in the fish Watch out, it'll splash. Drop everything in. See this color right here? Now you mix them all up. So heat, it's on low. Put this on low heat. You can mix while it's not cooked yet. But once you get uh, everything in place, see, this is how I do it. You get everything in, pl in place like this. Okay, you spread all of this out. Don't let anything overlap each other. Okay, like this. Come on, man, work with me. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, next step. I have a can. Coco Rico right here, or if you have fresh uh, coconut water, you can use that. I have a can of this. Since it's only one pack, I'm only using half a can because if I use the whole thing, it'll be overly sweet. Sweet. Okay, now I can crank up the heat too high, and then here I have uh, some water. I have here a cup. I'm gonna add in. Okay, so I can just cover, just, it doesn't matter how much measurement, it's just as long as you cover up, you know, the water covers the, the fish like this. Okay, now we're going to let this on high, and when it comes to a boil, you can lower the heat down to uh, medium low and simmer this for like an hour forgot you need a little garlic like a tablespoon in here there you go you mix it up okay now don't touch the fish it should be left alone from now see now it it's uh, coming to a boil now I'm gonna taste this really quick see the fish is cooked not not like you know but I'm it's 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 cooked this fish cooked really fast but we need to simmer it to let all the seasoning soak in so this is cooked all right guys don't get on me I'm gonna taste this taste this real quick to see if I need anything else okay I'm gonna need more fish sauce now I'm gonna do I'm gonna do another tablespoon like this Okay, it needs uh, another tablespoon of sugar to my taste. I mean, you can adjust it into your own taste and likings, okay? 
Now I'm gonna put in some black pepper. Not a little, a lot, haha. <laughs> like this, cover this. Okay, get everything covered, everything dissolving. I'm gonna throw in some chili. Look at my chili. Delish. This is fresh, fresh chili from my friend's garden. See, look, I get free chilies. Uh -huh. So I um, do seven, okay? Because I'm the only one eating this. This simmer on medium low or until the sauce thicken. I'm gonna retaste again. Ooh, hot, hot. Okay, it's pretty good now. Once it's uh, reduced, it'll taste even better. So I added more. Uh, like fish sauce to this and sugar and some black pepper. Now you can adjust to your own taste. This is perfect for me right here. I'm going to let this simmer. Here, look guys. It's only been like 15-20 minutes and it has reduced down a whole lot. I think it's quicker this time for me because I only made one pack today. The last time I did it, I, I made two packs. So here I have some uh, garam, Vietnamese coriander. All, you know, I picked out all the leaves already, roughly chopped with scissors. And then I'm going to drop it in the fish. It doesn't need to be like really chopped. It doesn't need to be finely chopped. Okay, now I'm gonna drop everything in. There you go. I'm gonna mix it gently because you you don't want to touch the fish because you don't want it to break. See, I'm just going to cover it. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. I cannot wait to eat this for lunch. This is going to be my lunch and dinner. Okay, I'm just going to push it down. And let this simmer for a bit more until it's thicken up a little more okay it's done I just turn off the heat I like mine uh, a little thick like this see I still have some sauce but it's thicken up this is how I like the gobi fish to be like this now all done now let's eat look it's all done Look at this. Scrumptious. Okay, let's start eating. I'm so hungry. I am so hungry. I'm going to have lunch. Like right now. Sitting Indian style. Like this. Can you see my food? Now you can see. Okay. Let's get a little sauce in here. Look how thick the sauce is. This is how I like it. Mm. So, so thick. I have a little side of uh, pickle papaya. I pickle, I pickle everything, even green papaya. It's good with fish. Now let's taste. Mmm. 
Mm. Oh my, so good, so satisfying. You hear that crunch? Mm. Chili? Okay. So good. Wow. It's really easy. You see how easy that was to make? Hmm. Be careful with the bones. Hmm. So good. Sweet, salty. So good. If you like my video, give it a thumbs up and follow for more recipes. Bye!